Hi, this is Kerry Artak with Wicked Stocks, bringing you your daily NVIDIA report for Thursday, August 22nd, 2024. But before we check out the charts, I just want to ask you to please click like, share, subscribe, and check out wickedstocks.com, where we offer a full suite of both daily and weekly analytical videos, just like the daily Tesla and daily NVIDIA reports, daily analysis in the SPY, daily analysis in the Triple Q, weekly analysis in the S&P 500 index, the NASDAQ 100 index, and Apple stock, as well as two individual stock picks a week that you never see on YouTube that cater to the three to five week swing trader out to the three to five month near term investor, always looking for 20% moves or or more on those underlying stocks. And you get to see all of this for free. We offer a five-day free trial up front. So check out wickedstocks.com. Let's take a look at the charts. I am going to start with this one. Uh, and that is just to remind you of the buy signal. Uh, I guess that was a week ago uh, yesterday. Um, a week ago, Wednesday, a, a week <laughs> Wednesday of last week, we settled above the descending two-third speed line that is now at 117.03. And this, uh, in our opinion, shifted the focus in a more positive uh, direction as we continue into September. This 153.74 formation, a one to two month target. We might see that within three to five weeks. Uh, now, I guess it's almost the same thing. 153.74, able to contain buying on a monthly, possibly quarterly basis. Uh, and it is considered our big picture objective above 117.03. Uh, uh, on the way up, we have had the channel uh, bottom uh, that we pushed through a few days ago. I guess that was Monday of this week. And it has been roughly holding selling pressures ever since at 128.12. Can continue to do so today. An unchanged open, by the way, on Thursday would still be above 128.12. Able to contain session weakness. It would be nice to get above 130 even. That is the high that was put out on Monday. And that should then yield uh, 135.58 within the day. So opening above 128.12, constructive dynamic. I certainly don't see a bearish setup uh, on the opening above 128.12. 130 even, a bit of a trouble spot. If you're an aggressive day trader and you trade throughout the day, 130 even is a is a, an area you can watch. Uh, it could contain intraday buying. And if we push through it, it is a decent, if you're not long already, go long strategy up to 135.58, where a, a daily high can be placed. We could also top out at 135.58, possibly into later week, which is isn't saying much. I suppose we're already in later week. So it could be more than a day, 135.58. You've got a high settlement price, all-time high settlement price on the daily chart. And we pulled back into that zone a few weeks later and it held. So uh, a daily buying pressures anyway. Um, but I do have it, I think, properly weighted at just a daily high. And certainly if we close above uh, 135.58, we're just a few days away, possibly the very next day, testing 140.76, which is that June all-time high. Uh, and I've been calling that a two to three week objective following the settlement a week ago above 117.03. So 140.76 remains a two to three week target. Uh, and then inside of that, we've got two meaningful pivot points, 128.12 and 135.58. Now to the down downside, if we happen to, um, you know, break or open uh, below, where are you? There is a channel bottom. There it is. If we happen to break or open, it's hard to put everything on one chart, right? Uh, so you've got this uh, former channel bottom at 128.12 uh, that we settled above a few days ago that acted as sort of a secondary show of strength, a confirmation really of the buy signal that occurred a week ago above 117.03. So there's been hesitation here. On the downside, if we happen to break or open below 128.12, now we have minor points all the way down, but there is the very real possibility that we could test 120. 29 today and that is a newly formed rising uh that's say what that's an august low this is is this three weeks or is it about two weeks i think that's about oh boy two and a half weeks anyway this is a two and a half nearly three week channel bottom at 122.29 and so it is also a session containment pivot point. Um, it can contain daily selling pressures, may well contain selling into next week. You know, so weighing it as a three-star weekly support level, I just don't think that's appropriate just yet. Uh, you know, I, this market could fall back to 117.03. 
Uh, and I don't see that, though, as a clear objective unless we close today below 122.29. So the way I want to frame this is we are bullish uh, really through the rest of the week above 128.12. And I know we haven't seen any real aggressive follow through the upside that would come with a push above 130 even today. So that is the upside dynamic. If we break 128.12, might we test 122.29? certainly could test 122.29. I don't want to call it a clear-cut signal, but you should at least allow for that, that if we break 128.12, 122.29 in reach, where a daily low can be placed. So 122.29 is a solid day trade level. It also could potentially be a three- to five-day swing trade. Remember, we are in a buy signal above 117.03 that is likely to play out over the next month or two. And so even if we violate 128.12, I don't see that as a clear sign that we're likely to fall back you know, to the um, uh, 117.03 level by the end of next week. I just don't see it as a likelihood. That would come into play with a settlement today below 122.29. So you've got a down pivot you see over the far right at uh, 122.29. And that means if we close below it, the market pivots south tomorrow uh, and into Monday, likely then testing 117.03. Uh, and then we have the up pivot at 128.12. And as long as we continue hanging out here and not falling away from here, and it continues to roughly hold as it has been, it remains an up pivot, expecting 135.58 over the next few days, three to five days. I hope that all makes sense. Now I'm going to go back to this chart here for a moment, and I don't expect to see this, but you never know what might play out. If we do close below 122.29, this rising channel bottom over the next few days, then the market does pivot south to 117.03. And I just want to bring up to your attention that right now we have a newly formed rising two-thirds speed line. Um, that I have weighted as just an intraday level because we are using 117.03 as our basis, uh, as our base of support as we move through next week and into September. But I just want to draw your attention to the fact that if we do not put out a new high and the market begins to fall away a bit from here, uh, that 117.03 converges with 107.76 over the next week. A week from today, they converge into one single point, which I think is realistic. So if the market does decide to fall away, you know, it could be this will be an very important area these red lines as they converge over the next week of activity uh, above which we are bullish through september below which we turn bearish into september uh, and there's no need to go there right now uh, it's not likely we're in a buy signal into september above 117.03 secondarily above 128.12 expecting 135.58 over the next three to five days. 140.76 remains a two to three week target following that buy signal a week ago. And then longer term, yes, 153.74 and rising as a one to two month target. Uh, I think that pretty much rounds it out. I can't think of anything else to say beyond what I already have. So I'm going to leave it at that. Please click like, share, subscribe, check out wickedstocks.com. Take advantage of our five day free trial. We offer daily triple Q, daily spy analysis, two stock picks a week. Uh, you can see it all for free by taking advantage of our five-day free trial. If you don't like what you see, you can bow out at no cost to you whatsoever uh, by the fifth day. I'm going to leave it at that. I'll be back tomorrow, of course, with Friday's NVIDIA report. You have a great day.